Here in this tutorial we will see how, how easily we can create a MySQL database in our server. Uh, see here, go to control panel, go to uh, C panel. Now in here you, you will find PHP My Admin. Okay, click on that. Enter my PHP Admin. And now it will enter into your main php my admin page now actually the main motto uh, is here we have to understand here the first one that the left hand side this is the database name i already make a table that is why under the under this database this table is shown and if you have a build the new table then you just name it here uh, like i give a name shubham S -U -B -H am it is my name and uh, suppose uh, i need a four column uh, for rows in in fact uh, so number of field we give a four and click on go button see it, it will create the four field now we have to mention the specific field name like uh, suppose i have to take the from user his first name or name uh, then email then user id then password for making any login page or any simple registration page uh, the common criteria we use those are the data we need so we have to give this field name now we have to give the cat type is it a character or is it a number or is it a integer you, you can or it is a date of birth you can select here for our uh, example we, we write the bar character now we have to mention the length length of the field and uh, suppose name we give the 100 it can take the 100 bit now for email id we give 354 it is the maximum value now user id suppose we give 170 now password we give 100 itself so after giving this every data separated by a some unique index number okay so we have to create a column uh, create a row by giving an index number see here i give c u s t that means customer underscore id okay so we give this customer id and we give this it is a integer and it is a unsigned and it is a primary and another thing we give auto increment that means when one user enter his field for registration one customer id is generated for him automatically and further when another customer want to take the registration this number is automatically incremented and this operation is done by the system itself so we have to know don't bother on that now we see the table is created successfully uh, we can edit anything from here uh, itself ok uh, for editing anything we have to click on that and edit this field and again save this option so making this table we have to click on the save button instead of go button by uh, pressing this go button we can add another column to another row or another field you may say to it ok in this way we simply build our database thank you